Hello and welcome to the match preview for our League Cup match against Gillingham. I'm here with my pal Greg Stobart from Squawker. How are you doing, boy? I'm very good. Good, good. Right, now, starting off, it's a bit of a nothing game, isn't it? I've, we've just been talking about it. Um, not too fussed about this one. Not sure about you. Certainly with the Champions League, it means even <laughs> less, doesn't it? I mean, last year, it was Arsenal, wasn't it? in the League Cup, so mm -hmm. it kind of meant a little bit more this year. It's a chance for a few players who haven't been playing a lot to get some game time, but other than that, Spurs should win pretty comfortably, but mm. no one's really that bothered. It's all about the Premier League and the Champions League at the moment. Yeah, I mean, yeah, not massively excited about this one, but anyway, let's let, let's um, start with a predicted lineup. Who do you reckon is going to start in goal? Will, do you think Paulo Lopez might get his first game for Spurs, or do you think Michel Vorm is going to... I think he should give it to Paul Lopez because mm. we've seen Michel Vaughan play, haven't we? He's been playing played a few games this season and you never know when you might need him. More likely, they promised Vaughan some games, so I'd expect Vaughan to probably start. I don't know what yeah. you think. It could be either, really, couldn't it? Uh, yeah, I mean, this is the thing. It's a bit of, it's one of those games where Poch could potentially experiment. So I, I would like to see Paul Lopez because I haven't seen much of him in La Liga, so I'd like to see him play. Um, but then again, like you, I think he'll, he'll probably give Vaughan his start. Um, in defence, I can see Trippier starting at right. Yeah, back. well, he hasn't. You know, he played quite a lot last year yeah. when he was rotating the fullbacks in the second half of the season. We haven't seen him yet, really. Yeah. So, good opportunity for him and you know for Ben Davis. Oh, you can go for the team goal. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I yeah. mean obviously Davis is probably starting left back. With yeah, he has to, injured, yeah. yeah. Uh, but it's the centre back partnership that that we've we've got to discuss. Really, I think Vimmer might be given a chance. Um, should be given his chance to, to play, and I think maybe CCV. Cameron Carter-Vickers should also play alongside him. I think Carter-Vickers is a certainty because yeah. Pochettino's already said the reason Kevin Vimmer's not been on the bench is because Cameron Carter-Vickers is ahead of him at the moment. So that tells you Carter-Vickers is the one. And then does he play Carter-Vickers with someone with more experience, yeah. like Advairold or Vertonghen, or does he put him in with Vimmer? Uh, Vimmer, I think, against a League One side, Carter-Vickers, Vimmer, get, get them some game time, give them 90 minutes, you know, Carter Vickers played against Juventus and Atletico mm. Madrid in the pre-season, really so he can handle Gillingham, yeah. so really good opportunity for him. Um, midfield, um, I, I reckon, what, people saying that they think Wanyama's going to keep his place um, in the team. Obviously, he's not going to get a game week in, week out, is he? Um, although, if Dyer's hamstring injury, which we don't know too much about. I think he'll try as much as possible not to play players yeah. who are going to play at, at the weekend, so yeah. I actually think he'll, he'll, if he has to, he'll play Tom Carroll and Harry Winks. Yeah. There, if he has to, I can't see Banyama playing. To be honest, okay. Harry Winks certainly. Yeah, what in the number ten? I think he'll he'll play. I think he'll want. He likes him as a number eight, mm. as a controlling midfielder next to a holder. So, it might be that he has to play Banyama, just to have that balance. Have okay. Winks as the the playmaker, Banyama next to him. Maybe play Tom Carroll number ten. Okay, yeah. Um, what about Sissoko? Do you think? It's hard to call, it's hard to call, mate, because you don't know what he's going to do on mm. Sunday. Because Lamella looked pretty sharp when he came on, and it's a different opponent, Middlesbrough. I think Sissoko did enough against Sunderland to keep his place at the weekend. Mm. In which case, I'd bring I'd bring Lamella in or someone else right. for Sissoko. Okay, uh, and then the three behind the striker. I reckon it's going to be um, like you say, either Winks or Carroll behind the striker, and then Eriksson and Lamella because they didn't get too much game time. Well, Eriksson didn't play, um, and then Lamella only got a few minutes at the weekend. You'd think Eriksson would certainly, even if he's going to play seventy minutes, sixty, mm. seventy minutes. You'd think that Eriksson would play. He's not played for a week playing yeah. against Monaco uh, and he's still finding his rhythm isn't he mm. really good against Stoke then poor against Monaco didn't get on at the weekend yeah. so I'd play I'd play Ericsson and then if Josh Onimer's fit I'd give him a go as well oh yeah that, that's another player that hopefully um, should get some game time at least yeah. and then up front I want to see Janssen because um, he needs to start getting these minutes so he can you know try and fill in for Harry Kane and it's a good much. opportunity for him to score some goals yeah. isn't it you know, going to Middlesbrough not a terrible Premier League game to get mm. thrown in but if he can score a couple of goals get his confidence back I mean against Sunderland he had that one chance didn't he and he panicked it was a bit soldado wasn't it oh, yeah. and he put his head down and blasted it into the stands yeah. and panicked so it would be nice for him just to relax get a couple of goals under his belt and then go to Middlesbrough with confidence yeah no I, I completely agree with that uh, moving on uh, not too sure um, if many of you know about the, the Gillingham team so there might be some familiar faces that, that we might meet um, at the um, at the lane uh, we've got Paul Konjewski at left back. He could start for those of you who are interested, and also ex Arsenal striker. You won't get much renovation, uh, <laughs> Paul Konjewski. Really, I no, doubt anyone think remembers so. he played for Tottenham. Neither um, will ex Arsenal striker J Emmanuel Thomas, I who I didn't him. know played there. But um, I'll tell you what, I remember him 
Tottenham played Arsenal in an FA Youth Cup semi final, 2010, 2009, 2009. Absolutely brilliant him in that game. Thought he was well, going to be. I thought he was going to be the next big thing, and now he's playing for Gillingham. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, let's hope he doesn't have a game yeah. like that. And also, uh, Jamie Har- Jamie O'Hara, former Spurs midfielder, um, does play for Gillingham as well. But he's unlikely to start because he's out with a foot in- injury at the moment. Um, what do you reckon the, the score is going to be? Tottenham by a few goals. I don't think yeah. they're playing well either, Gillingham, are no. they? So. Well, here's a bit of a stat for you. Um, Spurs have the best defensive record in the Premier League. Um, currently, we're sitting third, but we've let in two goals in five games. Um, whereas Gillingham, on the other hand, they've got the worst goal against record in League One. They've let in 15 goals in eight games, and they're currently 13th. So, yeah, you would that would suggest that hopefully we'll be able to bang in a few goals and maybe Janssen get his, some confidence after having I was going to say, weekend. Spurs by three or four and an opportunity for a few players who could do the goal. Janssen, Eric Lamella, Eriksson, first goal for Sissoko. Mm-hmm. They could all do with finding some goal-scoring form as well. So yeah. three or four, I think. Yeah, fingers crossed this is this is a high-scoring one. Hopefully we don't concede any goals as well. Go into the weekend uh, as game against Middlesbrough with confidence sky high. Um, anyway, that's it for today's um, match preview against Gillingham. If you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you've got any comments, any players that you think... Let, actually, let us know what you think the starting eleven is going to be in the comment section below. Um, and we'll, we'll give them a read through and see what we think of those as well. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you aren't subscribed to the channel, then make sure you do. If you're not following us on Twitter, then get onto it. It's at Twitter, uh, at Spurred on TV. And also, come on you Spurs. Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Spurverts with me, Jack Bryden. I'm here with my good friend Greg Stobart from Squawker. How are you doing, pal? I'm very good, thanks, Jack. Excellent. So we'll just get cracking, I suppose. Um,